Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and today's video is going to be about angling to your right and that's where people have a little bit more challenge, is a little bit more difficult and requires a little bit more knowledge about footwork to get to that position. Usually when you do angle, angling to the left is a lot easier. You just push off the back, rotate, get your check hooks in, but that's where people have the easiest time. Going to the right, a little bit more difficult. So I'm going to show you three different ways that I like to use to go to the right. Sometimes might be a little bit more kickboxing oriented, some are a little bit more boxing focused. But all in all, you want to be able to use the floor and here I have a right angle. I like to use the mats on the floor work well like I do in my class. Some people use pylons, but to show the visualization, you have to use 90 degree turns, pivots, and we're going to end up in this position and we're going to make sure we create our angles. Right? So the first one that I like to use is the most basic and that's your quarter turn, or you call your 90 degree pivot, whatever you want to call it, but you're going to start on the vertical line. Just from here, you push off the back, you now have your 90 degree turn. That's your pivot, your basic pivot. So when you get good, you can mix it with punches, create your angles. All right, worry about the footwork first, and then when you get more comfortable, you can mix in the punches, because a lot about creating angles isn't about getting there. You have to mask getting there. Your opponent's knowing that you want to get to this position, so you have to mask it. So I'll mix it with some punches, All right? So that's your quarter turn, your pivot. The second one, which is more advanced, would be the V-step. So from my V-step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my back foot first, and I step. You can see I'm making the V in my feet. As I step, I like to put the jab in, block the face, show. From this position, I now can shuffle over and get into my 90 degree angle, back into my orthodox position. So if you have trouble with this, you have to realize from this position, you might have to use an angled shuffle step to be able to get to this 90 degrees. So really focus on that timing and really getting back into your same stance. All of these pivots get you back into your orthodox position, right? So even though I'm in southpaw momentarily, I come back. And I really like to, when I angle to the right, really focus on getting that left hook in. So here, stepping off with my V-step and attacking. All right, the last one I'm gonna show you is more of the diamond step. And with the diamond step, instead of your back foot moving first, I'm gonna shuffle my feet. As I shuffle my feet, I almost still end up in the same position I did for the V-step. And this time again, use my angled shuffle step, and now I created my 90 degree angle. So a little bit more fancy into the shuffle. One of the best ways to work your angles is to use the wall pad. With the wall pad, it's important that you use something stationary. With a, a moving target, it's really hard to get your footwork set up. Even when I'm using all of these angles in sparring, I like to throw some combinations before, get my partner to shell up. When they shell up, they don't move, and that's when I can create my angles. But for this drill and the concept of getting that right angle, let's focus on really jamming that left hook. Once you get into this position, you want to throw your hooks right in between the guard and that's where you're going to create your knockouts. Especially when I mix them up, people shell up, next thing you know you're on the angle putting punches between the guard. Alright, so quick recap again and then I'll go into a little flow. The first one is our quarter pivot. I'm going to mix it with a jab, pivot up, jam my hooks down the middle. Okay, pivots. You can even see sometimes I mix in a feint, come off. All right, second one, my V-step. Last one, my diamond step. All right, now let's put some flow together with it. Remember, the key to this, put some punches, especially straight punches. When you're ready, create your angles, get your knockouts.
Whether you're a beginner or even some professional fighters, it's really difficult going to your right. So it's not really a bad idea to really start with the basics, get the tape line on the floor, and practice creating these angles. Even after so many years of martial arts training for myself, I still have problems from a self-paw getting these angles and I actually use these specific drills. So practice both stance with it, this way you can become more effective at switching and matching. So getting to that right isn't really a concept used a lot in kickboxing, it's more of a boxing concept, but it's still really important to be able to know how to create these angles. Boxing is a huge part of kickboxing. So make sure you practice these angles and when you do practice them, you can mix and match the two. Once you feel you got that right angle covered, Go to the left and this way the whole fun of creating angles is making your opponents guess if you're going to attack off the right or attack off the left. So that's how you kind of confuse your opponents in order to get the best effect from creating those angles. Okay, so make sure you keep liking, subscribing and keep leaving some messages and comments below. This way we can kind of see where we want to take the next videos. So keep sharing with your friends and we'll see you next week.